Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're just having laughs here. The city of West Hollywood wants to help you uh, get a head start on dry January. So they've partnered with the Phoenix organization to let you ring in the new year with a sober celebration. Yeah, the Vibes event features a drag show, pole dancing, and more. Joining us with the details are host Pickle the Drag Queen and local program manager for the Phoenix, Andy Short. So good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank good you morning. for having us. You look fabulous. You look okay. <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> but first, just tell us why you wanted to create a, a sober New Year celebration. Thank you. Yeah, it, you know, the sober community is underserved, and it is so important. Literally underserved. Literally and, underserved. And, and right and quite literally, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> um, and it's so important that we're able to create safe, fun spaces for sober people in the sober community or sober curious people to gather and celebrate themselves and celebrate the community in an environment that is really there to serve them. You know, it's like bars and clubs, just that it's fun to go out, but it's also so important that we're able to come together and have a celebration in unity. So what exactly can we expect to see at a Vibes party? I think it's, what can you expect not to see? <laughs> I promise I wouldn't say it, but I did. Remember it all. We're going to have uh, fabulous performances. We have live music. We have astrology and tarot readers that are going to be, you know, seeing into the future. We've got pole dancing. We have free food, music, dancing. It's all at Fiesta Hall in Plummer Park. It's going to be, oh, we're transforming the space. It's going to be very vibey. It sounds vibey. So I understand West Hollywood did used to have another sober celebration. It was called Boom. For people that are familiar with that, is this similar? Yeah, it's so Boom wasn't able to happen this year because the organization that normally runs it decided not to. So we, the Phoenix launched in the LA area about two years ago and we all we do is sober events for folks. So a lot of times we'll do fitness and social activities and we just really wanted to make sure that that sober space was available this year. But these Phoenix events take place all across the country. Yeah, so we're international, Canada and- Oh, across Great the world. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and Excuse me, I stand corrected. Global. <laughs> yeah, and for us it's really important to kind of have two pieces. One, have an ability for folks to be of service. So most of our programs are volunteer led. And then for folks to just have free sober spaces to go to. So all our programs are free for anyone with 48 hours of sobriety. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, there's amazing events uh, that the Phoenix is putting on and fitness activities, yoga. I went to a rock climbing event that they had. So fun. Ah, okay, so what would you say to people who say New Year's is not the same sober? I would argue that New Year's is better sober because you're entering a new year. This is a chance to have clarity of mind. Even if you don't identify as a sober individual, you're just sober curious and you want to celebrate in a different way. This is an opportunity to wake up on January 1st and start your day not hungover and just with that kind of clarity and having gotten your tarot read and having uh, seen me, which is like, <laughs> what more clarity could you ask for? Yes. <laughs> Before we go, I have to ask, how did this make it through the rain? <laughs> uh, well, actually, they covered me in a poncho. <laughs> nice. And I was okay. kind of wandering around the lot looking for the door. <laughs> and I was really hoping that someone would think I was a specter. Well, which, okay. In a way, I am. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect. So I, I was curious. Okay. Yeah, they, they just packaged the me up. And oh, you did? I that down. Yes. <laughs> yes. So what's the key to a great drag show? What is like your secret sauce? You know, drag is all about connecting to an audience. So there's so many different styles. There's so many ways to represent drag. Anyone can, can perform in drag. The key is that this is about a relationship with an audience. That's why historically drag has been so important for community because it's an art form that's really about being present with people and transforming. I like to say that you know, we conceal something to reveal a deeper truth about ourselves and then connect to an audience. So any drag show, there's going to be so many different types of drag, but what makes a drag show great is that connection to the people that are in the room with you. Right. you you've been asked that before, haven't you? Uh, in <laughs> the mirror good. to myself, I ask myself every morning. <laughs> that was good. Don't forget, the free Vibes party kicks off New Year's Eve at 9 p.m. For details on the Vibes New Year's Eve celebration and to RSVP, head to phoenix.org. We'll be right back. Thank you so much to Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.